本製品は18歳未満の方はプレイすることができませんアベステラと死神の蝶 Oh my god, it's been a f a m i t e Wait, I could see Oh, right, right, right Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep it on Atsumi She a baddie Oh my god, it's been so long. It's been a year since I touched this visual novel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so another reason why I decided to leave this route to the side is because I don't know who told me it's been a while. So if you're watching and this sounds like something you said, please let me know so I could thank you properly. Somebody had told me keep playing King Koi or Senren Baka, was it? One of those two? Because apparently there's something. That has to do with Nozomi. And honestly, whoever told me that, if there was something that had to do with Nozomi, it totally flew over my head because I did not notice anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you're the one that told me that and you know what it is, please tell me. Well, you must know what it is if, or you wouldn't be telling me that, right? So, please, please let me know what it was because just. <laughs> Right over my head. Anyways, welcome back to some Cafe Stella, or welcome to Cafe Stella.、Um, if you're here for the first time, I don't know where you've been. You've been slacking. And if you've been here, well, welcome back. Hey, I, I'm now more accepting of the trauma that I endured at the end of Rhea's Root. I'll never forget that. <laughs> the first visual novel to make me cry.、Uh, yeah, anyways, enough of that yapping stuff. Let's get straight into it. It's been a Very fat minute. I'm really glad to be back though. Hold on. It's fine, don't worry about it. Stop in my b r o o m my flesh and Nozomi a smile as she comes running over. You all done with your photo shoot? Why? It sure isn't easy being the star attraction. Could you put the dustpan down, by the way? Are you sure they weren't just interested and curious about the biddies? While saying that, she stoops down, holding the dustpan. I gently sweep the pile of trash I'd collected towards it. Come on, don't say that. A lot of shrine goers would be disappointed if their favorite shrine maiden were to disappear. You're a daughter of this shrine, aren't you? You're no phony. You're not, you're no phony. It's in your blood. Rax, nobody cares about that. Oh, that's tough. Hold on, I could hide the stuff at the bottom, can I? I kind of want to. Hold on.、Mm, I guess not. I'm gonna pretend it's not there. Well, not that because I can't understand Japanese fully yet. Nozomi appears oddly displeased as she looks up at me. Perhaps she's pouting? Well, you're more of the cute type rather than the beautiful type. And I've always told you that you're cute, haven't I? Ugh, well. That's too bad! That's because I began to see her as a member of the opposite sex. Inside me, there exists two Nozomis one, my childhood friend, the crybaby, the other, a romantic interest. To the. <laughs> To the childhood friend, I can say anything. But when it comes to the romantic interest, I can't help but get tongue tied. Jesus Christ. That sucks. You? Immature? My eyes come to rest on her bountiful bosom. <laughs> How could anyone possibly think that? That's crazy. That's very violent. Don't do that. Nozo Domestic violence is no joke. Say no to it. And if no doesn't work, pull out a good old trusty Smith and Wesson and just hit him in the face with it. And what, what I mean by hitting with them, I mean unloading a clip on. Nozomi straightens up, brandishing, brandishing the metal dustpan with a smile. Sorry, sorry. It was just a reflex seeing those magnificent puppies right underneath me. Oh, oh my. Honestly, I wouldn't mind paying to get a good look at your. That's what I thought. 
生くんってさわかんないよもうだらしなくてエッチだったり。So what happens when you have big b i d d i e s Oh hey,、uh, what I was gonna say. Again, with being inconsistent and jumping around stuff and not finishing things when they're still fresh, I have no idea how we got here, what's going on in her room. Actually, if I, I think I recall, she was busy with this and something else. I don't even remember. See what I mean? I just proved my own point. Anyways, so <laughs> there's going to be some re watching or re reading that I might have to do, which I'm totally not going to do, by the way. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I guess they all are. I give it some thought. We've known each other forever, so I don't feel the need to act a certain way around you. But if there's some aspect of my personality you really don't like, I wouldn't hesitate to change it either. Alright, l that's a red flag. You don't change for no one. Alright? l If it's something that's like putting you in jeopardy, then maybe you should. But like, changing your personality for someone is kind of crazy. I'm terrified. At the thought of you hating me. That at least I can say with absolute certainty. We're probably about to finish the route, too. <laughs> I've been friends with this girl virtually my entire life. If confessing my feelings to her could strain our relationship in any way, then. In any way, then. Yeah? Aww. That you what? Alright, l if you say so. I wonder what that was about. Nozomi's face seems a little pink. But、well, maybe it's just the setting sun. Huh? What do you ask? Nah, I shouldn't. I feel bad. I can't be having Nozomi cooking breakfast and dinner for me. Just say yes, just say yes. I was gonna stop by the convenience store for some cup noodles. Two cup noodles, then. You really have that mom energy sometimes, Nozomi. Here comes the guys with mommy issues. Say I. Not I. She grabs the cuff off my jacket and gives it a tug. Alright, alright, I'll have dinner with you guys. Reluctantly, I pick up my broom and dustpan and follow Nozomi inside. Once she sets her mind to something, she can be surprisingly bullheaded. Ever since we were kids, I was always the one who caved in in the end. Just like that time she was bawling her eyes out in this very spot. Ah, I get it now. It's nothing. Yeah, I agree. I don't know why I didn't realize this sooner. I love Nozomi. <laughs> Nozomi smiles wryly. She's so close to me, yet because we're childhood friends, she feels so far. Nothing's ever that simple, is it? Grumbling to myself, I look up at the evening sky. My heart burns with unrequited love. So close, yet so far. I forget how much more different. <laughs> The animation is in this visual novel. And I love it. I miss it. I miss it a lot. It's been three days since I began helping out at the Sumizome household. Okay, this could be dangerous. Hold on. So far, I've been managing to juggle both my part time job as well as my duties around the shrine. Wait. I want to make sure we're still good. Alright. Okay, we are good. So, what I was checking is if we're still in her route. Because for some reason, I thought we were at a different route. I don't know why. Don't ask. So far, I already read that. Okay. Nozomi, too, is happily back to work. Things are fine for the time being. However. Oh, yes. Mommy Kana. She got them bigger bitty. I mean. Uh, wait, I forget she's pretty much an old lady, but as a young woman. Isn't that kind of crazy? We even had that with Murasame back in 
Sandra Bank. And kind of weird to think about too. If I was with a woman like that and we were having sexy time, I'd probably be like, oh my God, I'm basically nailing an old woman. Oh God, drink water. It sounds serious. Hello, Kana. It's been a while. Kana? Oh my God. Oh boy, I forgot. <laughs> his voice i'm like oh my god this is like japanese corpse husband let's hear it again <laughs> that threw me off hold on i need to hear it again let's hear it again hold on hold on hold on <laughs> akizuki-san and mikado into the kitchen from their expressions, I understood at once. Yeah, it is a serious thing. It's about that. Wait, who's dying? Sorry, Suzune-san. Do you mind if I step out for a minute? I'm still mad that she got a short route. Like, use yourself. What is your problem, dude? What is your problem? You're, you're telling me Akane from King Koi had a longer route than her? She was far more interested. It's my biggest gripe with this visual novel so far. <laughs> I forgot about that whole thing. <laughs> I figured as much. The tal talisman Mikado had given me will only be effective for a week. We have to do something about that butterfly before the year ends. How long? What? Since the Edo period? Just how attached to the shrine is this butterfly? Maybe they're having a party, I don't know. Yeah, if it's been there all this time, there should be butterflies hovering around the shrine year round. The zombie says she only feels its presence around this time of year, too. You mean like it hibernates for most of the year? Do butterflies even sleep? I suppose even soul remnants must get tired from time to time. Takamine Kose, Izen Itta de Aru Areva Karada O Motano Hito de Aruto. Oh. Oh yeah, he did say that. I can't just think of it as a regular butterfly. So, how do we get it to leave? Huh? That's not good. Once those talismans become ineffective, the entire Sumizome family will be in danger. If that's the case, we have no choice but to get Nozomi's family to move. But if we do that, Rokuro-san is going to lose his job. In the first place, I don't even know how we'd go about explaining the situation to them. I paced restlessly back and forth, brooding. What? Why not? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Start breaking it down for the butterfly is exactly what she's trying to say. Uh oh, well, thank good. Wait, wait. By the dedication ceremony, you mean the shrine maiden festival you have every year? Oh crap. What would happen if the dedication ceremony wasn't held this year? I thought so. This is bad. I feel the blood draining from my face. You see, the truth is, I explained to them how the ceremony is likely to be cancelled this year. 
赤い蝶を転生させる術をまだ我が輩たちは持たないのだ。何としても舞の奉納をし、眠ってもらわなければ大変なことになるだろう。<笑>ボイ中止はまだ決まってはいない感じなんですよね。I'll ask the Zomi about it as soon as I get the chance. We need that ceremony to happen one way or another. Otherwise, we really will have no choice but to force the Sumizome to move. Zetai ni chushi na kwa sakero. Takami ne kose. I know. First, I'll need to check in with the Zomi. I really hope they haven't decided to cancel yet. Eh? Kotoshi no Miko san matsuri? Kotoshi wa yan nai koto ni n a t t yo. <laughs> After finishing work, I went straight to the shrine to speak to the Nozomi who was sweeping the grounds. Turns out they've decided to cancel it after all. Isn't there any way we can make it happen, Nozomi? Still, I refuse to give up. I'll help. I'll do whatever it takes. That's crazy. Wow, she's a little toxic. p u f f i n g angrily, she jabs my stomach with the handle of her broom. No, that's not why. My intentions are pure. Huh? Oh, uh. Well. What do I do? Do I tell her the truth? But if I do, I'll have to explain about Akizuki san and all that Grim Reaper business as well. I can't do that without permission, though. Rokuro san, wait! Yup. Ah, Kosei kun. Kyou mo sumanai ne. Rokuro san, the Shrine Maiden Festival. Hmm? Ima, chodo Tomotake san ni denwa shitan da kedo ne. Kotoshi wa nashi de hanashi ga tsuita yo. <laughs> the situation's getting worse by the minute. Is there any way I could get you to reconsider? Yo, his leg? Give him a senzu bean. Problem solved. I'll do whatever needs to be done in your place. Uh. Well, well, what if we get some other shrine maidens to perform? Isn't there anything you can do? That's a great question. Rokuro san gives me a puzzle book. It's confusion to be expected, of course. He has no idea about the ominous butterfly that's been residing in this shrine for the past 300 years. The zombie's still under the wrong impression. Pouts her lips at me. That's not true. I'm only thinking about your safety. <laughs> Bro laughs. He doesn't even like swing at him with the crouches. He's like, yeah, that's. Yeah. Don't blame him. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> つれないね。まあ、高生君。うちの望みも本当の巫女じゃないけど、家庭的ないい子だよ。一つ末永くよろしく頼むよ。お父さん、私高生君にまだ嫁入りするわけじゃないんだけど。うん？まだ？あ、
Unfortunately, the gods aren't my biggest concern here. If the talisman's protection runs out before the new year, disaster may well befall the Sumizome family. But what else can I do? Nothing. I've guessed we've got no choice but to prepare for the worst. Looking up at the evening sky, I make up my mind. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy. We're in the break room after closing time. After eating dinner, I arrived at the cafe accompanied by Nozomi. Oh my god, it's her! She's hot, hot. Nozomi looks at me, then at Shiki san. Shikisan shoots me a questioning look. Even if I did, she probably wouldn't believe me. I thought it'd be better for her to see Akizuki san and Mikado with her own eyes first. The door opens dramatically as two people enter the room. Well, one person and one cat. He looks so funny, look at him. <laughs> Apparently, they've been waiting for the right moment to make their entrance. <clears throat> I know you don't want to admit it, Nozomi, but this conversation isn't going anywhere unless you do. Kanasan is a Grim Reaper and the talking cat is a cat. See the head. Some sort of magical fairy or something. Well, compared to the literal Reaper of Souls, you aren't really that special. Not to mention titles and ranks don't mean anything in present day Japan. While Mikado was busy, but with blah blah blah. While Mikado was busy grumbling, Nozomi had slowly crept up behind him, wriggling his fingers. Mm. <laughs> Nozomi begins stroking Mikado's belly and throat. going on with him. Then Mikado experiences pure bliss. Bro just had an orgasm. Nozomi stop. Placing Mikado in her lap, Nozomi sighs contentedly. Mikado complains from atop Nozomi's lap. Ignoring him, I press on ahead. So, Nozomi, that cat, or rather, cat see there. What do you think <laughs> not that I mean about him talking nobody's calling him excellency at all まったくあれとかこれの次は何か呼ばわりかじゃあカナさんが死神っていうのもはい信じがたいと思いますが真実ですそそうなんだ光成君と夏目さんが死神とか言い出した時はわざとスルーしてたけどわお wow, that's kind of rude don't you think Oh, come on. I know it sounded crazy, but give me a break. Nozomi, 
コウセイ君はどうして死神さんや妖精さんと知り合いに It's a bit of a long story. I explained to Nozomi what had happened as succinctly as possible, how I had avoided death by winding back time. I told her about the Greek Reaper's duties as well as the existence of soul remnants, also known as butterflies. I forget that when he died, <clears throat> she was around when he came back and he was like asking questions, and she was like, These are weird questions. Like, what, what do you mean? What day is it? Or what time is it? Or something like that. I don't know. But. It's kind of nice to see that she finally knows why that dude was tripping that day. <laughs> And finally. <laughs> yes, and it's no normal butterfly. Tokubetseno, <laughs> Maybe he did break his foot before I gave you those talismans. <laughs> Nozomi begins to quake with fear. Seeing this, I go up to her. Don't worry, Nozomi. I grip her hand reassuringly. I didn't bring you here and tell you all this just to scare you. I did it so I could protect you and your family. If we work together, I'm sure we can find a solution. Don't be afraid, Nozomi. I promise I'll figure this out somehow. Don't be afraid, Nozomi. I promise we'll figure this out somehow. Please don't tease me, Shiki san. Anyway, there is a way we can neutralize the butterfly for one year's time, Nozomi. それはどんな方法なの? This beginning to sound similar to the Senran Banka story where the main character, I forgot his name already because it's been a minute, how he had to do some sort of like ritual or something. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, you're saying the original reason for the dance was forgotten over the years until only the tradition remained. That certainly makes sense. So the Shrine Maiden Festival always had a purpose to neutralize the red butterfly which had been haunting this place for 300 years. I know, that's why we're all going to have to put our heads together. Everyone here is going to help, not just me. As long as we work together, I'm confident we'll figure something out. I squeeze Nozomi's hand with renewed strength. Nozomi showed this slump, discouraged. Well, what if we don't hold a festival and just find someone who can perform the dance for us in their spare time? The main thing is that we put the butterfly to sleep after all. ミカロスカス。高見さん、人を集めることにはちゃんと意味があるんです。多くの人の気を楽しいという感情を集めないといけません。ミコはその晴れの気を舞という形で神に雲つとして捧げているに過ぎ。ただ舞えばいいというものでは
我が輩の方で何か考えてみよう。グレイ、さあ、ナザミ。とはいえ、今からミコさん捕まるかな。お父さんに一応頼んでみるけど。She furls her brow. The look on her face says that it's a long shot. But the dedication dance has to be performed. We have no choice. That being the case, listen, Nozomi, I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but. Huh? <laughs> it's gonna have to be you. No way, no way, no way, no way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> The other two girls observe us, commenting calmly on our exchange. You have to dance, Nozomi. Oh god. It has to be you. She shakes her head from side to side. But if we can't find anyone to perform the dance, you're gonna be in serious trouble come New Year's. Our only option is to have you undergo a training arc and emerge as a legendary shrine maiden. What? Did she just announce to everyone that she wants to live together? Hold on a minute, Nozomi. This is too sudden. My heart isn't ready for this. Oh no, that's not fun. That's what I thought you meant. I regain my composure at once. Naturally, in the worst case scenario, I wouldn't mind. But how would you go about explaining this to your parents? Nozomi is still struggling to make up her mind. Oh, alright. Fine, how about this? If you do this for us, I'll give you a reward. She puffs out her cheeks. Hey yo, I'll do any one thing you ask. Oh god. Nozomi gives it some thought. She seems conflicted. Well, it's a reward for the person who does the shrine maiden dance for us. Oh, what reward are we talking about from her? Yes, please. I mean, to her, yes, please. Huh? There's a suspicion, suspicious glint in Shiki-san's eyes. I forgot how much I loved her. Her voice actress. Like her voice is so extremely soothing that I just can't describe the words. Every time she talks, it's like an orgasm for my ears. It's amazing. Hey yo! What? I forget how to fuck her shoes. Kizuki san smirks. Why are they looking at me like that? What are you two planning to make me do? <laughs> they each smile mischievously. Tell me you're scaring me. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Feels like I'm gonna be forced to work in some dark basement somewhere for Timu. Help the Zomen! <laughs> they still have it out for me. Don't let them do this. I'm begging you. I let you out of hurt desperately. <laughs> Please, Nozomi, you have to be the Shrine Maiden. <laughs> Bro, you don't even have to beg. If she wants tragedy on her family, let her have it. I mean, you're doing what you can. Wow, Nozomi! <laughs> so dumb. Nozomi gently pats my head as I throw a mock tantrum. She finally gives in. Thank you so much. I will. I'll do anything. You're the best, Nozomi. Bro, it's for her. 
あともう気軽に何でもするって言っちゃダメだよ。Nozomi smiles, giving my head another pat. I jump up and down on the spot, pumping my fist in the air. まさか泣き落としたわ。のぞみさんの母性本能をくすぐるとはなかなかやりますね。<笑>だが、この中ではのぞみが一番適任だ。カンヌシの娘なのだからな。血筋的には巫女の素質がある。We've been saying. 一般女性や死神がやるよりはいいだろう。Not to mention her ability to sense the supernatural. なのたまにゾゾッとするだけなんだけど。潜在能力はかなりあると思います。頑張り屋の住み染めさんならきっとできる。自信持って。Kazuki said and she sends her on Nozomi, offering her words of encouragement. Seems to work. Nozomi's expression brightens considerably. Thank goodness. では、当面の目標が決まりましたね。時間がない。明日の朝から他のスタッフにも話して協力してもらう。How are you going to explain this day? ひうちだにさん。OK。ひうちだにさん、ずにさん。あと、ミカドさんもいるよ、コセイ君。んああ、そうであったか。I was waiting for them to say something. 我が輩がミカド・タカノリだ。イリュージョンコセイ君、超マジックだよ Uh, it's no trick. Only natural. She'd be surprised. Bro turns into a stud muffin and makes weird cat noises. Oh gosh. That's such a weird combo. I don't know how to feel about that. Hold on. Now that I think about it, May? 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 I'm gonna call her May. May sounds like Akane from King Koi. By any chance, I wonder if they're the same voice actresses. Hold on, hear this, hear this, hear this. This is 100% Akane. Or the same voice actress. Interesting. The next day, as per Shiki san's instructions, the entire staff showed up to work first thing in the morning. Hyuchidan san and Suzuna san, who have no idea what's going on, wear confused looks on their face. It's an interesting. May. 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 The three members of the Grim Reaper team, or so I call them, arrive. No, the festival will proceed as originally planned. The girl's expression changed from confusion to surprise. This is a lie, of course, but we need a way to persuade Hiuchirani san and Suzuni san to help. Although I feel somehow, somewhat guilty, it's a lot easier than trying to convince them that Grim Reapers and whatnot exist. そして私たちも露店の出店をしたいと思ってます。出店ってえ今からそうだ。そのための Suzuna-san crosses her arms pensively. 
Is it really that hard to come up with a menu? Bro, it's just hard to even think about what you're gonna make for lunch. At least for me personally. It's a lot harder to think about what I'm gonna eat or what I want to eat than actually making it. Couldn't we just sell something easy to eat while walking like takoyaki or chocolate bananas? Oh god, now that I know, or think, or suspect, or, or being skeptical that this is also Akane, <laughs> this makes me not want to look forward to her food. <laughs> Chinese sweets you can eat while walking. Something like ice cream, perhaps? But it's in the middle of winter right now. ロテの方は私たちに任せてください。高峰君とすみぞめさんは前の練習に集中して。え?もしかしてのぞみちゃんが舞をするの?すごい。かっこいいね。すごくないよ。私やったことないもん。できれば誰かに変わってほしいよ
and Sandra Banka, that's also very supernatural. That actually wouldn't be so far fetched. <laughs> what? Nozomi, here's the size. We watched the video on my phone together. Well, you gotta remember, she is one of the finest shrine maidens in the country. Comparing yourself to her won't do you any good. Let's just try to learn these dance steps first. Don't worry about looking awkward. You'll gradually get used to it the more you practice. Try to cheer Nozomi up before she starts thinking too negatively. Let's focus on doing what we can. Alright? I'll give her head a few light pats. Sure. It's your first time though, so take it easy. However... Nice. Could that be the thumbnail? Maybe, maybe not. Poor Nozomi-san only made one mistake after another. The dance itself is only about 5 minutes long, so why did it take 30 minutes to complete? What's more, 25 minutes of it were her missing up. Nozomi, calm down. You're way too nervous. You don't have to get everything perfect on the first try. She begs me to kill her like some captured female knight. Come on, you're only doing this for work. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. All jobs are created equal. There's nothing more admirable than hard labor. I desperately cheer her up. How about this? I'll start by yelling out instructions. All you have to do is follow what I say. Easy, right? First, take three steps forward. She lets out a spiraled battle cry as her heavy stomps echo throughout the shrine dance. What is she practicing, Kempo? You're putting too much force into your steps. You're not trying to fill up your super guide here. Do it more quietly, gracefully. Something still feels a little off, but I guess it's acceptable for now. Now step there and ring your bells. Zombie begins to jingle the bells attached to her dance her fan in a 16 beat rhythm. No, not like that. Nozomi, wait! Do it slower. Quieter. It should ring out cleanly. You just gotta get used to it. Well, anyway, next. Keep ringing while spinning around clockwise three times. I didn't tell you to do a triple axle. Why does she have to go out of her way to do something even more difficult? Uh, how about we take things from the top once more? All I can do is force a smile as I say that. This is shaping up to be a lot harder than I thought. What if she does it without anyone watching her? Nah, but then she won't get it over that field, probably. Good, good. Continue calling out instructions to Nozomi as I snap photos of her practicing with my phone. And that's timer. At long last, her movements are free from error. Why don't we take a break, Nozomi? <sighs> Nozomi immediately sinks down to the floor. It's hardly a surprise. With the exception of lunch, she's been moving her body around non-stop all day. Here, have a drink. I walk up to her and bend down, offering her a bottle of juice. <laughs> You've been sweating a lot, so I thought you'd want something cold. Remember, I left to buy a few things earlier. I need a Yuzu soft novel that's not around Christmas and New Year's. That's all I was saying. Well, you were concentrating pretty hard. Anyway, drink up. <laughs> she happily chugs her juice next to me. She smells faintly of sweat, but it isn't unpleasant in the least. If anything, the scent puts me at ease. I like being next to her. Oh crap, 
My heart's starting to race again. Hi, Kosei-kun. Hmm? W what? She suddenly hands me the plastic bottle. She holds out the half finished fan for legal reasons, Fante orange to me, ordering me to drink. Nah, I'm good. <clears throat> That's true, your throat must be parched from reading for almost for over an hour now. So yeah. Reminder, water. You're not reading, but I am. Water. She continues to hold out the bottle towards me. But are you sure? You don't mind me indirectly kissing you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. No, I'm not. Not really. That is to say, I can't not deny the possibility that I may or may not have thought about it. That wasn't enough to trick her, I guess. I mean, hasn't it crossed your mind at least once? Just waterfall it. Her face turns a light shade of pink as she answers me. Weird how it never used to bother us when we were young, though. That's actually crazy. But not anymore. We can now. We've known each other forever, but we're not kids anymore. It's probably impossible for our relationship to stay the way it used to. Small shadow seems to pass over her face. But still. I want to stay with you, even if that means changing our relationship. They want a bone! Her eyes grow misty. I gulp, swallowing her. Nozomi, I love. <laughs> the sound of Rokuro san's voice drowns out the rest of my words. I jump up, feigning shock, and putting some space between myself and Nozomi. のぞみが本当の巫女になるように。ああ、僕は嬉しいよ。うちの神社もこれで安泰だね。ザト。Despite yeah, hurry up and heal. Yeah,お父さんは怪我してるんだから安静にしてて。Yeah, <laughs> lends her father her shoulder to help him inside. I guess it is about time for dinner. All right. Let's end practice here for today, Nozomi. I'll come again tomorrow morning. Sorry for the intrusion, Rokuro-san. I gather up my things and stand up. Yes, ma'am. Nah, I'd feel bad eating here all the time. Anyway, I'd better get going. I'll have my two cup noodles. The truth is, I really do want to eat Nozomi's cooking. But mostly, I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. My failed confession earlier is still traumatizing me. You know what is still traumatizing me, by the way? I'm gonna say it again, real's root. See you tomorrow. Take care, Rokuro san. After running away, I quickly flee the scene. Embarrassing. Oops. Even with the voice thing here at the bottom right corner telling me when to skip, I still cut them off somehow. Only something I do. <laughs> She's so violent. Alright, now that's true. That's very true. I've known a few protagonists that are a little more ballsy. This is a great spot to end it. I was gonna end it a little soon. Oh crap. It's only been four more minutes, so it's good. We good! We're gonna say wait. Oh god. How do we save here again? That is quick save, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hold on. Why did I save like that? Look at this. Four or five, then I skip all of this. Save here. Save here. Save here. I'm so confused what I was thinking. What was the thought process when I was doing this? I don't know. 
Uh, but <clears throat> I do want to address something. So in this series, I made a... Oh... I see why I did that. I was going with the number in the chapter. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me continue that streak here. Effort. Yeah, there we go. Just to keep it the same. Actually, I am not... It does not matter. It literally does not matter. I don't know why I'm doing this. So what I wanted to address was in this playlist, in this entire series, I made an entire mess. So, <clears throat> in the first episode ever, I did episode one chapter one dash something and then number zero zero one dash zero one and then a whole mess of a bunch of numbers and chapters and numbers and stuff a whole mess of numbers and chapters and stuff all over the place so i just want to apologize for that that must be confusing as heck but you know what the playlist is in order so that's the good thing but from now on i'm not gonna do that ever again because holy crap it was confusing even for me <laughs> and i'm the one who was making it just in case you haven't noticed that i did that which i'm sure you have because it's annoyingly long like the title, the thumbnail, everything. But anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Otsukare sama deshita. That's right. It was a great first episode back. Again, it's been a year, so you most likely have to see the previous episodes unless you've already read it and you don't care. Or you've never read it and you don't care, and that's also fine too. But anyways, it was a good first episode back. I'm glad to be back. I enjoyed it. I missed Natsume's very soothing, orgasmic voice. And... I cannot wait to finish this game. I believe this game did not get a second game, did it? I just don't think so. Like, it's a good concept. The story is nice. I've enjoyed the roots so far. But I could see why, so far, why it wouldn't get a second game. The way King Koi did, you know? Because King Koi's story is just... <sighs> <laughs> it's something else. It's absolutely something else. I just want to remind you guys, though, that I'm going to be playing Golden Time too while I'm playing this one as well. But I'm going to focus a little more on this one than Golden Time. Just because we just finished Love Rich. But I don't know. That might change, you know. If I feel like playing Golden Time more than this game, then I'll do that. I guess I just want to focus on Cavistella, you know. Because I've been doing it a lot longer. Like, I've had it around longer. I haven't finished it for a lot longer than Golden Time. Rather than starting another game, you know. Because there's still... See here, I still have... Sucker for Love, which was recommended by Creative Beast. Shout out to Creative Beast if you're watching. He recommended that a while back. He, she, they, them, I don't know. That person recommended Sucker for Love a long time ago, and I still have not finished it. We're talking like a year or two also. So it's like, that's really the only other visual novel I started that I haven't finished as well, besides Cafe Stella. So, I mean, we're not too bad. Not like with the other channel where I started... This meant like 5,000 RPG games and then, I, you know, and then I'm doing Spider-Man and then I'm doing this and that and that and that. But still, the point is I've been all over the place, you know. But anyways, that's enough of that. If you did enjoy this episode, please let me know by hitting that like if you haven't already and subscribing. It really does help this self-esteem. Let's hit a thousand subscribers. We are so close but so far away. Oh my God. Anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me. I cannot wait to see how this ends and to finish this game and get through golden time man it's gonna be so much fun i could already feel it once again thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video as always y'all stay safe and until next time